Hey guys, Kale here, and I'm here with the director of Halo Ford Unto Dawn, Stuart Hendler. How you doing, man? Good, good. how's it going? Good to meet you. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive that we're even here right now. I mean, we've, right. we've been expecting, we've been wanting a Halo anything, whether it be mini mini series or, right. or movie or so, comic strip. Yeah, or comic strip. So what was your reaction when you when you heard that you were gonna get to do this? Uh, I, I nearly fell over. It was I mean, I kinda can't describe it. Like I scratched that door as hard as I could to, to get them to hire me for this thing and when they finally said yes, I was like, what, what? really? Yeah. Really me? <laughs> Fuck. All so right. so I, I wanna I, I wanna get right into it. I wanna know uh, first off where does this take place in the Halo timeline? Um, so we're about 25 years earlier than most people are familiar with, like the games, the Covenant War that's, that's well underway. We're about 2525, although the story covers a couple of different time periods, so I'm not supposed to say like exactly where we go. Gotcha. But yeah, we're about 2525, and that's like you know 25 years earlier than most people know in the mythology, unless you're hardcore. So now the question every, that everybody wants to know is, how much of this series is going to include Master Chief? How much of this? Uh, I would say about a third of the movie he is fully engaged in the plot. Although he's there, he's there the whole time. Yeah, it seems like, because uh, I got a chance to check out the first episode, which is airing tomorrow, uh, it looks like it's more of a, it's a human-based tale, which is much more relatable because obviously Master Chief it doesn't that really have that much in common with a super soldier. Right, and Chief has a has a fucking mirror. Can I swear on this? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Chief has a fucking visor yeah. in front of him. You can't see his face, and we shouldn't ever see his face. So he's a really tricky character to put on screen. And everybody's impression of Chief is like largely due to playing him in the game and creating this sort of version of him in your head. So we're never going to do anything like what you have in your head justice by putting something on the screen. So he's like this sort of mysterious, enigmatic dude in a suit. And the best way we found to kind of show off what he's like was to show his effect on other people. So to put these like kids around Chief and see how they're inspired by him and like how they react to him and how they're influenced by him is the best way to explain what Chief is and what Chief does. Speaking of Chief, so you uh, you got a really tall actor to play, right? Yeah. And and uh, and you got the whole suit. Where did the suit come from, and how tall was the actor? Uh, Dan Cudmore's the actor. He's enormous. He's like six foot. Uh, nine or something like that. In the suit, he's about seven feet. Um, oh wow! So he's a monster. Uh, the suit was built by Legacy, which is like one of the big effects houses that does like you know all the other big movie suits, the Avengers and stuff like that. So they they were like the obvious go-to guys. Um, you know, even though it's a web series and the resources were were limited, it was like we're not gonna cheap out on Chief. Like that's where we're gonna fucking do it right. The guns look great, the, the cars look great. How closely did you have to work with Microsoft to get those things right? Insanely closely. We had, um, we had a position, a guy named Jameson, who's one of the associate producers, but his full-time job was literally 12 hours a day of fact-checking and getting models approved, getting designs approved. Like everything went through 343 and anything that was in the canon had to be like rigorous, rigorously sort of made sure it was super accurate and then stuff we wanted to invent went through them too, so they could say like, yay or nay on it. So it's like- There's a fact it, checker. Oh yeah, we took it super seriously. And yeah. it was like a full-time job for three months, just wow. making sure every detail was right. Well, okay, well I'm done bombarding you with uh, with with whether or not you got the accuracy right. We'll let's, uh, let's talk about the story. Yeah. Uh, so obviously it's 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 based on, uh, it looks like this, this group of kids, but mm -hmm. what, what else should we know? Uh, well, there's, you gotta discover some of it, but the, the basic sort of like backbone of the story is this group of kids, super young, it's got kind of like a band of brothers vibe, although even younger, we wanted these kids to be like incredibly uh, young, sort of impressionable 15 year olds who get sucked into this conflict that they don't really have a choice whether they wanna fight it or not, because this is before the Covenant has attacked, right? So this is like the human insurrectionist war, it's a human on human, um, battle and it's got a lot of sort of complexity in terms of who's right and who's wrong. Like there's some analogies to like the hum or the, the uh, American Revolution or like Afghanistan, Iraq. Like you can make an argument in both directions uh, as to whether this is like a worthy conflict to be fighting. So these kids are all in this really um, sort of impressionable part of their life and we get to kind of jump in with them and figure out where we stand 
in this universe. Morgan. Are we gonna see kids die? Are kids gonna die? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> awesome, all right. Fuck it around. All right, I'm in. Um, I'm, gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you the hard question. I don't expect an answer from this. Are we going to see the Covenant? Yeah. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting an answer. Hell yeah. That's awesome. We have about 500 effect shots in this okay. movie. So we cut the trailer before, we think we had like six effect shots done for the trailer, and none of the Covenant was ready because we cut it two weeks after we wrapped principal production to get ready for Comic-Con. So like, my, I think it's a, it's a good trailer. My one regret is that we couldn't really show like the full breadth of what we're actually gonna be um, doing in the show because none of the effects were done at that point. But yeah, fuck yeah, lots of Covenant. Was there anything you had to create, whether it be noises, whether it be something visual that wasn't represented in the game that you guys had to kind of take a creative license with? Yeah, to lots of stuff, which was cool. And basically Microsoft Edict was like, uh, you can't contradict anything that's in the canon. Everything has to be accurate if it's in canon. If it's not, like they gave us a lot of creative license to sort of expand the world, which was rad and really daunting. Um, but, you know, everything from like the cadets' uniforms, like this is sort of the, the West Point, ideally, that we make this feel like the West Point of the UNSC. So, um, you know, we've seen Marines, wardrobe, we've seen stuff like that, but cadets, we haven't necessarily. So it was like sort of, engineering stuff that felt like it was in the world, it would it would tie in aesthetically, it would lead to, like if they graduated, they you know would lead to that kind of costume, but uh, was proprietary. Uh, all the architecture, like the exteriors obviously we found, but the interior architecture, uh, we sort of looked at like what's existing in Halo and backtracked it um, by 75 years, because right. like, our story is 25 years earlier, this thing was supposed to be built uh, like 50 years before that, and tried to imagine like what aesthetics would have been important and what you know, would have driven the design on like a distant planet for a kind of military academy. Um, Which one are you the most proud of? Uh, you know, I'm, dude, I'm proud of it all. I think the, the production design is really cool. I like the way the sets look. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I, there's, no, there's so much shit. It's, um, yeah. it's all. And you didn't get to keep any of it. You I told me earlier. A lick of it. I know. That but sucks. production did make me, there's a set, it's in the trailer, so I'm not giving anything away, but, um, one of our like teachers, um, instructors, has an office that's like really stark. It's like a desk and this sort of white embossed um, like assault rifle, like on the wall behind her, like gigantic, like oh, six, it's white, yeah, six foot wide, like assault rifle. You got to keep that. I wanted to keep that. They made me like a half size version, so I have like this big. Where does it go? Rifle. Where's? I haven't figured out where to put it in my house yet, but it's gonna be. Don't you awesome. put it in the bathroom? It won't fit in Although the bathroom, you can be like, it's big. I, whether you can go like, I'm going to battle <laughs> in the bathroom and Dude, measure. There are worse places. Yeah, there are, there are. Above your bed? Yeah, it's heavy too. It might kill me in my sleep. I don't know, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Kill with a battle rifle, you know, whatever. Um, because we finally got our visual representation of Halo in internet form, where do, where do we go from here? Like, where do you see the future of Halo live action? Uh, well, dude, just because we like, took a little chip off the iceberg does not mean there's like, by any means, this is supposed to be definitive. There's a million places to go. Like I keep likening the Halo universe to like Lord of the Rings. It's just such a big world. You know, there's so many characters and there's so much mythology. Like there's a million more stories to tell. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm excited to see the rest of it. I've only seen episode one. But the last question is the most important one. What's your favorite gun in Halo? Uh, just standard assault rifle. It's All classic. right. It's classic. Yeah, it's good. I've got one I'm fucking in my bathroom soon. <laughs> there you go. All right, Stuart, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, and we, we believe you, uh, there's actually a clip here. Um, it's the uh, it's the cast getting ready. Well, not the cast, but cool. I'm getting ready to go out in a battle. In All right. First, first episode. Awesome. So it's really cool. So check it out. And uh, see you later. Copy, Vickers. Time of four minutes. Gonna be able to shoot those hands? We'll find out. Come on! Axia! I'm FES Russia. Welcome to the controller, Medal of Honor Warfighter.